what's going on everybody first hike of the season cedar forest trail two mile loop says 1.8 on all trails and it starts out looks kind of like a road old road this is in the beginning part of the park of cedar cedars lebanon state park so we got little white flares to look for Get started first hike of 2018. I've really got to start learning how to identify different things. I don't remember what those mushrooms are right there. Leave a comment down below. Help educate old Mitch in outdoors. We'll get away from the road noise. I'll talk to you later. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, that looked weird. It looked like it wasn't focusing. Okay, I had to stop tie shoe. Let a family buy. So we went from hiking on hard pack to this. But this is not nearly as bad as where I was filming earlier. It was a lot muddier. Still pretty muddy. Trying to pick and choose my spots. Not to... I think I know how I lost the tip of my hiking bowl though, the last time. I lost it. This. <laughs> It is. Okay, this is getting funky back here. I jinxed myself. There's some kind of rock formation, but don't like an easy way to get to it. See what it is. So anyways, we'll bypass it for now. Oh yeah, this is soupy. This is I'm on the wrong side of this to pass it. Good thing about having long legs is being able to stride. You can stride over stuff. Huh. Now this is not too much of a wilderness trail. There's a house. Another house up yonder. Another house. I figure. I'm trying to take it all. All right, I'm gonna quit messing around on a hike. Come back in a little bit. All right, guys, here's the deal. I'm gonna evaluate this a little bit more. Um, I don't mind hiking in a little bit of mud, but if I don't have to, I'm not going to. So we're gonna evaluate this before we get too far into it, too much further into it. it may turn around because this, this is, uh, this is nasty, and I'm by myself. Uh, I don't know how many people take this trail a day, but a mechanical injury in a, on a trail like this would not be a good thing. Yeah, you have to come back up right there. That's what it looks like that way. That way, that's the trail. It's like a creek right now. Decisions, decisions. All right, we're gonna walk a little bit and see. Like I said, this may not be optimal for a person that's by themselves. That's something you need to do, guys. If you do solo stuff, you run into where it may be starting to be a little more difficult than it should be. That's when you need to evaluate if you should stop or keep going. Uh, mechanical injury by yourself would suck. Now, granted, there's a house up there. I have a little alarm on me. Um, you know, I should be able to take care of myself, but why well, risk it sometimes? All right, well, if I cut it back on and I'm not back at the truck, I kept going. <laughs> it's 
so far I haven't turned around. But there's elevation. Yay. All right, I'm gonna climb this. You don't need to hear my huffing and puffing later. All right, guys, what's up? Still going. Hey, Sean, look, mini bluffage. And you have to climb it because it's part of the trail. And I see the white blazes going up it. Pretty sweet, though. It's that woodpecker. Here. If you've never studied woodpeckers, you're going to ought to. It's pretty interesting how they can bang their head into the trees. It's pretty neat. And I'm fixing I have to roll up my sleeves. I'm getting hot. I didn't bring a jacket. Just a heavy shirt. Alright guys, I'm going to turn you off so I can climb up this without hurting myself. What's up? Still going. Uh, not far from the highest point on this trail. Better grip on this. Show you where I'm at. Huh. That's some rock stacking there. Anyway, um, up here it's fairly dry. It's not nearly as muddy as it is down there. Um, this might be one I bring uh, my daughter back to. It's nothing exciting. It's just a hike in the woods. That's all it is. More mini buff bluffage. Uh, hiking with Sean. That's it. Mini bluffage. <clears throat> Something I gotta point out. I tell you, uh, show you from time to time. I use Trails Maps with the built-in GPS on my phone. Uh, problem you'll run into, and I was having it just then, was acquiring the GPS satellite. Even though it's nine leaves on the trees, there's enough dab blame canopy that it was kind of hindering the GPS signal. So keep that in mind when using that app and using uh, any kind of app that might have a GPS, using the GPS. Tree canopy can throw them off. Uh, they're not able to penetrate sometimes. Some of the better ones probably not as much of a problem, but it's a problem. It can be had. Let's try and look, see. There's one of those split bark oaks. Oh, it's people. All right, guys. I'm out for now. Good news is, I'm at the highest point. It's as far up as I can go. A little bog up here. <clears throat> so, in theory, we should start going down some shortly. I've been having to do more bushwhacking. Hmm, can we say mosquito home? Like I said, guys, we've had a lot of rain. And I'm still bushwhacking because most some of the trail up here is like this. So we continue on. But it ought to start going downhill shortly. I'm kind of pushing myself to do it anyway regardless of how muddy it is this is my first hike of the year so it's two miles i don't do it but the bushwhacking is slowing me down i'm gonna have to bushwhack some more <laughs> lucky me but honestly it's better than walking in that crap I'll have to come back up here when it's a little drier. Bring Chloe with me. 
All right. I'll step over it. Go around it. Just do a little bush whacking. Get away from some of the mud and the muck. Can't believe I left my glasses in the truck. Sunglasses. They used them right about now. Keep them getting a stick in the eye. I'm telling you guys, I'm having too much fun. Doing all this for you guys on YouTube. And I can't help if you two don't like it. Alright, we're gonna go into the mud for a bit. Oh, to get to the dry. I can't wait to see what the other half's gonna look like. As all the water's run down from this. The other half. I just hope it's not flooded. But like I said, I got a GPS on me. Got a compass on me. I know about where the parking lot is. I'll get back. Don't you fear. That's what I like about when the trail's good. Let me make up some time. So now a lot of you guys up north are still hiking in snow and that doesn't slow you down. And I applaud you. Uh, DNS Adventures some of the other guys that do not stop no matter what the weather's like. I applaud you guys. Hey, I feel like I'm going downhill. There's a white blaze. That's me. Look at this old tree. It's been down for a long time. But there's some critters living in it. Might be able to find some tasty grubs for survival. Not that I would eat any of them. Not immediately, anyway. I'd have to get awful damn hungry. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera away for a minute because this fix can get slick and. Yeah, I'm about to bushwhack. Alright, guys, back a little bit. Okay, outdoor crew, here's what I've been doing. Switch it back, back and forth, because this has been nothing but this all the way down. So, step over <laughs> and cross where I can. Okay. What I may do right here is make your bushwhacking. Ugh. I'm just trying to avoid any slippage. This stuff is soupy. hole on either side. Imagine that'll be a sinkhole one day. As long as I made it over it. Now we're back to a decent pack again. Still a little slick, but it's not gushy crap. Sorry if I'm fumbling with the camera. Make up some more time. Park closes at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of here by then. <laughs> And we're back in it. Look at that, you can see it glistening in the sunlight. Camera loose now. You can see it glistening in the sunlight. So I think I'm going to take the high road. This. Yeah, that may have been the worst one. Let's take the high road. I may take the low. I hope there's not been any families behind me because uh, I've said some choice words here and there. I got the cameras off. 
They've never been monetized. So I'm close to the thousand guys. I don't know when this video goes up, I don't know where I'll be. I hadn't looked since I've been out. Yep. These pants will need treating when I get home. When I wash them. It's crazy. There's rock, and then there's. Oh! God, I'm trying to be careful and I'm sliding worse. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this for now. I don't want to have it on film if I <laughs> Alright. I'll get back at you when I get closer to the end of the trail. Well, we're definitely descending. More mini bluffage. I'm gonna come down it. There's a big sinkhole up yonder. I'll catch it next time I through here there's a family enjoying it at the time so let them have their fun so i didn't looked at the map in the last little bit we got to be getting close to getting out of here um but it's been muddy i've been uh bushwhacking as much as possible all right Whew. <laughs> see you in a little bit all right guys we're just about done I didn't realize I started later than I did. So, it's starting to get dark. Sun will be down in about 45 minutes, but I should be done by then. Kind of taking a shorter cutoff back there. Family that was in front of me did. And walked up the road to the truck, but I'm going to finish the dab blame trail. It's pretty. I'll have to come back up here again. come up here earlier and the day I was just trying to get as much in as I could today I think I actually comes down to it have filmed three videos today for you guys Camera battery's going dead, so guys, I'm gonna stop it right here. I'll be out shortly. Be prepared. What's going on, everybody? Okay, I wanted to recap. I just got off of that trail um, that I was on, and I almost started it too late, guys. It's five o'clock. It's getting dark, and it was a mess there at the end. Um, it was worse than some of the places I showed you. There was literally a stream running through the trail like in the middle of the trail so anyway um man I, there have been several good times to trip fall and y'all laugh but i uh i tripped and never went down but uh anyway um that was that was a hike first hike of 2018 two miles depends on who you ask uh trails guide says 1.8 they say two miles, you're within it. So anyway, um, I'm hot, I'm tired, and uh, I'm glad to be off of that one. That one was a little tasking for the first one of 2018. But hey, I'm gonna start somewhere. And there's a couple that was in front of me that actually there was a dive off, you could dive off and hit the road and walk all the way back to the cars or you can take the trail the rest of the way and it dumps you out at the cars um, I, I chose to do the harder part I just did and you know I did it so hey right, guys this is Patrick Midton Outdoors uh, there will be pictures at the end of the trail there are some things I want to go back on that trail to take pictures of one day. Um, some pretty cool stuff. All right. Be prepared.